Hello everyone, welcome to my video tutorial for spatial data set analysis. Today I'm going to show you how to use the QPath software and perform cell segregation analysis for spatial data set. If you installed the QPath, you will get a start link. The current software version is the QPath 0.50. We can click the start link to start the software. You can see you just need to click the get started button. So QPath also made YouTube videos to show you how to use the software. You can watch their video tutorials to see the functions for each button here. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform cell segregation analysis. So the data set that I'm using for today's demonstration is the Final Cycle Fusion Demonstration data set. You can see it is a QPTIF data file. I will obtained from the Acquia Bioscience. So this is a compressed standard output file. If you use the final cycle imaging system to connect your spatial data. So to perform the analysis, first we need to create a project. You can click the create a project button. You can see it asks you where you want to save your project. We can create a folder in my QPath folder and we create a new folder and name it as demo. Now we select this demo folder. We will save our project in the demo folder. So next step, we need to add images. If you click the Add Images button, it pops out another window. You can see we can drag and drop the image file into here. Let's just drag and drop the demonstration image file to here. You can see it shows the image parts. So we can click the Import button to import the data. You can see now we have the image data here. If you double click the image, it will load the image. You can see QPath automatically detect the image format. So it is a neural reference image. If you have a bright field image, it automatically recognizes the bright field image. So we can just click the play button and set the image type. So we imported the image. You can click the image button to see the image information. You can see we have the image name, where we save the image, and the pixel type, magnification, width, height, and the size for the image. And the image type is fluorescent. Because this data set performed 15 antibody staining plus the depth staining, so in total we have 16 channels. So you can click the brightness and the contrast button to see the channels. If we click the button, you can see here it shows the channel information and the color for each channel. You can click the tickle button to switch on or off for each channel. For example, we click the CD31, we switch off the, the CD31. If you switch off all, then you click DAP. You can just see the DAP channel. We can make the image bigger. You can see individual cell nuclei. Okay, so now you know the image information. Next, we can start to perform the cell segregation analysis. 
So before you perform the cell segregation analysis, you need to annotate the image and tell QPath which area you want to perform cell segregation. So for today's demonstration, we are going to use the whole image. So you can see the annotation button at the moment. You can see it is empty. Then you can use different annotation button to select the area you want to annotate the image. We can use the rectangle button. Then we can select the whole image for today's demonstration. So now you can see in the annotation windows, we selected the, the whole image for annotation. So now you can see in this window, this is the default setting for filter classifications. Because we want to get the staining information for each antibody, I showed you we have 16 channels. So now we want to set the channels the filter classification list. So you can click this button and use the link populate from image channels. Let's click it. And we don't want to keep the default settings. Then we can click the button now. Now you can see we set the filter classification list as the channel names. You can see each channel named as by the antibody or DAP, and also the color is the original color from the QP TIFF data. So now the image is ready to perform cell segregation analysis. To perform the analysis, you can click the Analyze button, then select Cell Detection, then you click Cell Detection, you can see it pops out another window. So for today's demonstration, we can just keep all the settings here. You can change the settings. For example, you can change the setting for the requested pixel size. At the moment, we set it as 0.5. You can use 0 0.37, 0 0.33, and 0. 25. Those numbers are the available settings. If you set the pixel size smaller, it will take some longer time to analyze the data. And down here, you can change the size for cell expansion, which will depend on your data set. So we can just keep current settings to run the cell detection. Let's run. You can see the program is running. It goes through the whole image and detect the cells in small pieces. It will take several minutes to finish the running. So you have to wait. When it is running, you cannot perform other analysis. Okay, you can see QPath finished the analysis for cell detection. And also you can see the image change to the red color. So let's switch off the cell detection windows first. Then we can zoom in to see the detected cells. Now you can see in this magnification level, you can see the cell boundaries, and also you can see the cell nuclei. So you can right-click your mouse button, then select the cells. At the moment, you can see it shows both nuclei and the cell boundaries. You can click nuclei only. You can see now it only circles the cell nuclei. And also you can select the cell boundaries only, 
you can see now it shows the cell boundaries. And also we have the information for the cell centroid. You can see this is the X and the Y position that we used in our spatial data analysis. So let's switch it back to the cell boundaries only because it looks more beautiful in the cell boundaries view. So you can see QPass detected all the cells on this data set. Now we can get the cell information. If you click this button, we can select the shield detection measurement. Let's click it. Because there are not so cells in the data set, it will take time to generate the data. Okay, you can see now we have the data. You can see the object type will be cells. We have the cell position data, centroid Y and the X. You can see we have the nuclei area, nucleus parameter for each cell. If we move the button down here, we can see other information. You can see now it's the data measurement for the depth channel, the CD31 staining channel. In total, I told you we have 16 channels here. You can copy all the data into Excel. If you just click the copy to click board, then you can open an Excel file and paste the data into Excel. Then you get all the information for spatial data set analysis. Okay, that's today's demonstration. I showed you how to use QPass software and perform cell segregation analysis. If you copy your data from here and save it into an Excel or CSV file, then you can use that file to perform analysis. So I will stop from here for today's demonstration. I hope this video tutorial can help your spatial data analysis. If you like my video tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends. Thank you.